Good morning, everybody. It's a Thursday morning. We got a stamp concrete walkway we're doing today. It's going to be field stone. So we got like a gray, integrally colored concrete. We're going to put like a black release on it. Got a wheelbarrow this one. This might be, I don't think we wheelbarrowed anything last year, but this is really our only good access. We couldn't get a power buggy today. So we're just going to wheel it. It's about four yards. You ready, Bry? I'm ready, buddy. We're ready. Take a look. Perfect. Yeah, right there is good, yeah.
Bald, yeah. Got three eights, four thousand. It bull is pretty nice. See how smooth that is. I don't know what slump that is. Probably like a five. Definitely a lot drier than we normally for, but it's what you want for a stamp. Go too crazy trying to pull float that smooth because we can reach it all from the outside. So get it from the outside. One more. Yeah, at least one more. All right, so there's the pour. We probably got, I don't know, at least 30 minutes. Oh yeah, maybe more than that. Before we got to think about stamping. So we'll be back. We'll be back when we start checking it. I'll show you how we check it before we start stamping. All right, so it's about 15, 20 minutes after we got done pouring. We just got tools all washed up, put away. I'm gonna go right back and start cutting in my joints. We're gonna, we're gonna tool in joints today because it's gonna be so hot. We don't wanna have to wait to saw them. So I got it marked out about every six feet, roughly. And I'm just gonna start putting the tool joints across. We don't own this set of field stone stamps. We just rent them. We don't, we don't do enough of field stone to justify going out and buying a set. We might do one a year. It's only like 200 bucks to rent them. So we just, we just rent them and then we'll bring them back, clean them, bring them back. That's how easy it is to cut a joint in there when you get on it at the right time.
Oh, I got one over there, Luke. Yeah. I'll have to go like right where that white stuff is. I'll have to go across that way. Now, let's see. We probably ought to go like something like that, I think. I don't know if we can get it square with the stairs. I think it would look funny. Want to check it? Yeah. Tape was right there somewhere. Yes. But what if we just put it back to where I was, then leave this side, but put this side back here. It don't look bad to me. No. Okay. Never know. Right. All right, got to give it a few minutes. A few minutes to set up a little bit more, and then we'll start magging it out a little bit. Luckily, we got some trees here for shade, so that's going to help us out a little bit. All right, so what we'll be using today is these field stone stamps right here. I call them I call them random stone. I guess some people call them field stone. These stamps are actually are pretty easy to use. They do they do go together a certain way. You just can't put them together every any certain way. Um, they lock in um, one way, so you got to be careful how you set them down. But the good thing about using them on curves is they're kind of random. And then we got a couple tools here to help us a couple roller texture rollers and some touch-up tools just using liquid release today with a little bit of black tint in it and we got a few more minutes let's check this see what it looks like I'd say that's probably ready to mag well we can get that magged out and then uh, probably soon after magging we can start putting the stamps right on so we're gonna get to it I think stop magging this out All right, so everything's touched up nice, ready to mag, ready to stamp. Grooves are all cut back in nice; they look good. So now it's just a matter of timing with the stamps. I think we're gonna start. I think we'll start here, and then we can go this way and that way because we're gonna get into some sun over there right now, and then that's been in the sun for a little bit, so. I think it'd be a little better to be able to go both ways than to start at one end, get into some soft stuff, and then get into some hard stuff over at the other end. I know it looked really nice. Yeah. I ended up using the 25 grit diamond on the buffer. Yeah. 
That worked really good to rough her up. Well, it, it had like a mag swirl finish on it. Yeah. And it was kind of moldy. But it was in good shape. So it really took that roughness off. Yeah. Smoothed it up pretty nice. But it didn't scratch it up so they would show through or nothing. So it, after two coats, man, it looked like brand new concrete. And what'd you do? Did you put uh, rubberized stuff? Yep. Yeah. Well, it's not really rubberized, but it's an acrylic coating, that deck coating. Yeah. Went on good. It was all in the shade, though, so it took about an hour in between coats. Probably kind of helped me, though. <laughs> She's black. Black is back. I think we can put a couple like right here. Yeah. Then we can go that way and this way if we need to. Pretty good texture, huh? Pretty cool. Ah, these go a certain way, remember? Yeah. Not that it really matters how we start, but. Yeah. Words facing out? Yep. You want to overlap that? Yeah, I probably have to. We'll probably have to touch it up after. Kind of like this? Yeah. Mm. I gotta put them shoes on, I think. You can, I'll, I'll oh. just put these for now, yeah. The rock texture one. Texture. All right, so we can keep these two. Yeah. We can work that way. Oh, let's see. That's gonna go like that. You gonna be all right? That looks all right. Yeah. That ain't how that goes. That goes like that.
No, I think it's close, but I think you're going to want shoes. so good all right so you got those two left you got two more right yeah i got two more i was gonna take two and then yeah take these two and just alternate them down through okay oh not bad not bad at all all right once we pick these up we're going our own ways And grab you a fifth one if you need another stamp coming up. She fit. Pretty close, huh? I don't know if I can get it 
it out though. Get that floppy right there. Joints look good, this texture looks good. It's just getting, you know, you start early, what you think is early, and you get up towards the end where it's in the sun and it ain't early anymore. So it's like you really gotta hustle on these things. Especially when you've got shade sun, shade sun. Good thing is I got the top all textured with the stone texture anyway, so now we just gotta pound in the grout lines. I think that went pretty good. That's 68 feet long, you know, roughly four feet wide, four or five feet wide in places, but about 300 square feet roughly. All right, so all stamped. That'll be it for today. We'll just clean up, let it sit, we'll get all our joints in. We don't have to worry about cutting. So we'll come back tomorrow and just clean it, pressure wash it, get all the liquid release off. And then we'll just have to wait around to seal it. Looks like rain for the next few days, so I don't know about sealing it anytime soon. But I think it came out really good, especially with all these curves. It's a good stamp to use when you get a lot of curves. Got on it just in time. It's getting a little firm right there in the sun. So that sun is gonna go back around the tree in a minute here, but for now, it's pretty hot right there. Alright. So we'll see you back here when we come to wash it. We're going to put a little Decocrete Texture Enhancer Antiquing Agent on our stamp concrete just to give it a little more color effect, um, a little more two-tone-ish type color. And this is what you can do if you just put like integral color in the concrete, then use like a clear liquid release. You can come back afterwards and do this to give it a little bit of extra color. So that's what our goal is for today. We're just going to brush this in and leave it, let it dry. And then we'll come back tomorrow and seal it. First thing I do is I just dampen the surface just to break the surface tension. Then I can brush this stuff right on.
Yeah, that's it. You just basically brush it on, leave it. It's going to dry right in there and it's going to enhance the color a little bit. You can see the little bit of color it's leaving already. That's just the basic goal behind this color enhancement. Okay, and that's as easy as it is to teak wash a stamped concrete slab. So that'll, that'll dry up really good today. It's nice weather. Give it 24 hours and then we'll come back and give it a good seal, a couple seals, using Deco Creech D1. It's just starting to dry up a little bit already down this end, but you can see how much darker, like charcoal it added to that. It's gonna make it look really, really nice when we go to seal it. Those darks will really be enhanced by the sealer, so it's going to give it a great two-tone effect, antiquing type effect. So we'll see you, see you when we come back to seal it tomorrow. All right, so after we teak wash it, you know, we let that dry out for a day, and then we're back to get the sealer on. We'll probably put at least two coats on this, see how it looks. And the teak wash looked like it left a really, a lot of really nice uh, antiquing to the concrete versus what it was before we did it. So we're going to get this on. We're using uh, Decocrete's D1 decorative concrete sealer. I'll show you that can here in a minute. But we're going to get this sprayed on. We always use a stainless steel sprayer when we do this. It's it's solvent based sealer. Down a little bit, Luke. A little more, yeah. The left, the left is way up. Yep. All right, so that's the first coat. First coat is going to soak right down and dry up pretty good. We'll give that a few minutes, hit it again, and take a look at it and decide if we want to put a third coat on. So we'll be back in a couple minutes. Good enough for one more now. All right, so that'll do it. Three, three really light coats, and you can see how much darker it is than when we got you. That's that'll be the finished product right there. And then, you know, down the road next year or whatever, you could reseal right over that. Just pressure wash it, clean it, let it dry out. Use the same sealer. You can go right back over it again if it seems to fade out. So that'll do it for this job, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.